Hello and welcome to the lesson 4 of 3D Studio Max where we will be covering architectural elements like walls, railings, doors, windows and uh, staircases. Uh, those are very uh, handy and simple elements that you can apply into your uh, drawing uh, workflow in 3D Studio Max. They are not the most efficient like the uh, Revit or uh, basically Revit so if, or ArchCAD. If, you're, if you have a workflow there maybe you can create them there and bring them here but it's part of this uh, course curriculum so I'm going over them but they're really handy if you want to make a quick sketch with uh, uh, good detailing uh, in it so uh, this lesson for today is very easy uh, for my university students I don't want to do to you I don't want you to create something fancy I just want you to go over these elements learn how to work with them learn how to develop these elements how to manipulate and modify these uh, to change the parameters of these elements and then we can easily go on and uh, start uh, drawing a very uh, detailed architectural uh, building next week Prob probably we'll do an apartment first next week and then we'll do a villa uh, so uh, go ahead first and start to uh, set up your home grid because I want to draw architectural elements I want to be precise so let's go 100 uh, even 2020 20. increase this a little bit in all viewports close it then go ahead and make sure that your 3d snap is on then under create tab geometries you have architectural uh, engineering construction extended i think or architectural element construction i'm not sure uh, so you have walls foliage and railing but click on the wall you have different uh, settings here so 20 i put for the thickness 300 for the height Always make sure that you put this before you start the drawing because it's uh, not really that uh, efficient to change them later. So you have justification where it snaps to the left, to the center, to the right. If you work with any CAD program, you're aware of this. So I'm letting it stay in center. And now if I start to draw, you see, this is you have to be proportionally right. So each unit now is meter. The wall is 3 meters. So if I want to draw a room 3 by 4, now this is a room 3 by 4. Okay. And then you can right click and go out of the command. We have a good room now here. Uh, these are uh, very handy. So I'll go to the top. Uh, for today's lesson, I want you to create a kind of a villa type building. Uh, not really that difficult. Uh, so let me let me start by doing something here. I'll go maybe a living room first. Five, uh, let's say six. Let's say here we have a staircase. Uh, let's say beside the staircase we have a and we will do the toilets later we will have toilets and we will have a, we will have a let's say some storage or security room a unit there let's say if I have a kitchen here I'm just eyeballing stuff here I'm not really actually designing something uh, significant now let's go here Give the give the entrance a little bit of definition. All right, now let's see what I wanted to have. One here, another one here. Now it looks okay. Maybe you want to enclose your kitchens up, uh, not kitchen staircase up to you, but like it's a kind of a picture, so I, I want to keep it a little bit higher. Now let me go to perspective and have a look at it. Uh, looks fine. Uh, so uh, we'll have the bedrooms upstairs. This is one way of drawing the walls. Another way of drawing the walls is just to first draw a line around it. To draw a line, you have to go under shapes. I will cover shapes uh, in detail next week. This is actually the lesson for next week. But for now, get familiar with it. We will use the first one, line. On the line, you have many different options. You can have, you can pick smooth and start drawing SP line, free SP line. But for now, I put it in corner and also corner. So line corner corner and then with the snap on for example let's say here beside the house I have a small garage uh, five or six is good for a garage uh, let's, let's go same with this four by six I say I have a garage as well yes so after you draw a line and let me just draw something else so you can see it can be anything uh, after you draw a line I press S to go out of the snap option I go again under create geometries AEC extended wall and then I open the keyboard entry here you have pick a spill line so you pick a spill line and as long as your your uh, 
your parameters are defined before just make sure that these are in 20 and 300 once you define it it will remain there and you can pick any SP line uh, under keyboard entry pick SP line click on it and it will pop up so if you have a map usually I did it today because I wanted to practice this but usually you want to you can even bring a drawing from AutoCAD which we will do next week you can bring a fully developed map here and just extrude uh, immediately all the walls uh, very quickly to, to do have a very quick quick 3D actually which is something much easier to do in uh, I mean maybe even in Revit you can do it but here is also for quick sketches good if you want to have a speed line now uh, you have the railing as well so let me show you the railing railing again uh, let me open this trail snap you can always draw with no snap just it will just snap somewhere it will just do something okay so let's the railing if you draw once for the length of it and then you draw once for the height uh, let me close this for the railing I want to go around again to the shape to the line and I imagine that this house has a maybe uh, a parameters around it so like I'll, I'll, let me let me start from here maybe this is the entrance so I don't want to cover the entrance let's say we have a parameter around this house which goes here and here and then here and don't block the garage okay so let's say this is the parameter Again, I go under Create, Geometries, uh, AEC, Extended. For the railing, I pick a railing path. Just like the vault, you have all these options here. You pick a railing path. I pick this one. Uh, I don't know if I can pick. No, we, can. we have to fix this one first. All right, so this one, uh, you have to... Uh, you see, now it's getting the beginning and end and put one the 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 bars here in the middle now to, to fix that you have to go and increase the segments of course you increase enough segments it will easily fit and then I have to take care of these uh, other elements of it so first I want to make sure the height is okay the height is 200 is too much I want to have a hundred meter fence or 120 is good for a house uh, some countries they have their own regulation uh, let me go closer show you uh, you can have uh, you can have a different uh, depth or different thicknesses for this you see the depth it will increase this uh, the height of this so you have to design something according to your liking um, I mean usually I say go for five or go for something that I can remember exactly what it was for the next one as well so let's go 15 520 is fine all right so for the lower uh, rail these are the ro lower railing uh, this middle ones so you can have different uh, you can have different elements even for top you can change this to round and it will give you a round uh, topping but let me now go for square for the lower rails you can also go for a round object and this is it is this one uh, or square and you can increase the depth of it or here you can come here and increase the number of it and you have many other options as well. Now it's divided evenly, no object at the end. But you can go for free center, and then you can, like, uh, for example, start making these uh, go closer to each other, toward the lower part, or bring it up a little bit, or let's say it, it decrease this. I mean, it has a, it has a very precise point at some point. Okay, so you can and you can go and there are start offset, end offset. You can you can really fix the spacing here according to how you like it. For well, for now, let's say it's okay. Close it. Now you have the uh, you have the posts. Posts are the big ones. Uh, so you have posts and then you have the fencing which fills uh, between those. So the posts again, I can go increase it here. And I hope that you can see the difference between posts and these are the big ones are posts. Uh, you can have other options here as well. So the post you can also like make it a little bit deeper or uh, let's say the posts are metal and the fences are wooden. So uh, let's let's make it a little bit uh, thicker at least here. So I don't know maybe they're all timber. And then you have the fencing again for the fencing. 
I want to make a kind of a feeling of a wooden uh, thing here. So let me increase this a little bit. Close and then uh, I'll make it just thicker. I mean something like that. I mean we can always we can start editing modifying this because maybe Maybe the, the thickness of this uh, was not really the width of it. Five is not good enough, or maybe this is too thick. And every, uh, anytime, remember all this, you can just go here and add the edit poly. Let's say, uh, and then on top of the edit poly, you can just pick this face here and just say, okay, I want to extrude or bevel this out. So uh, never be, uh, never think that uh, you cannot actually edit this you can always edit these objects so whatever you want to do with it uh, you can easily do it let's say you want to fix this end like this so you know editable poly and you can always so this is a good way of uh, throwing people's clothes out now but i'm staying i'm letting letting it stay like that so you can go ahead and do this one as well uh, now we will move to the next one next set of objects which are Doors. So doors you have three types, pivot, slidey and bifold. The names are pretty self-explanatory. I will make uh, just a free one for you to save, to see. So you drag once for the width of the door. You drag twice, second one, for the depth of the door, how thick the door is. Click. And you drag it up for the height of the door. So you drag, you click and drag. For the width of the door, you release the mouse button, you drag again, you shift your mouse button up for the thickness of it, you click, and then you push your mouse up for the height of the door. And you have all the dimensions here, you can like see how much is tilted, and you can put it directly at zero, so don't uh, don't be bothered if the door is not actually uh, straight, for straight, you can always make it straight. So I have the door, usually when I go into a kind of a drawing, I try to set up my doors before actually finishing the 3D. So if I have a, a apartment building, I'll go check the drawing, see how different types of doors I have, maybe one type for the bed cores, uh, one type for the entrance, uh, one type for the bedrooms, and like maybe another type for the garage, and maybe we'll do all of these now. Uh, so let's say you can go ahead and just try the other types of doors. Uh, so sliding again click once click twice bring it up and bifold click once click twice bring it up and each of these they have their own setting so for example let's say uh, i want to have uh, three different but let's first uh, check uh, copy this so i have three types of door maybe here for the internal uh, all right, now you click on this, you go to modify as always. Let me see if I'm recording actually. Okay, we go to modify and you have the door thickness. So you can easily, now you can see, you can bring the door thickness. This is not the frame thickness, this is the thickness itself. And the, the most important thing you want to change is the height of the door. So uh, let's say for the entrance 250, the width is 120 and the depth is 25 I might my wall is 20 so I'll go 25 and you have all these other options let me zoom in so I have all these other options as well uh, as you can see I can make it double fold let me open it up so you can see so First, I'll open it. You see the openness here. This can be animated later on as well. So let me open this door. Now, let me press F4 so I can see these elements easier. Now, it's 55% open. Uh, if you want to change any of these, so the double door will create something like this. And then, flip swing will uh, mirror the door. The hinge will change place. And flip hinge it will mirror the hinge so you can easily you don't have to rotate it all the time if you have a difficult uh, if you want to set it up actually now let me let me actually copy this instead of that on the two other ones 
and now you have other options here for example how this middle part you, uh, you can fill it so you can you can you can make the fr frame thicker i'm not usually touching that so leave parameters uh you can you can start to see it. this is actually the 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 leaf, the, the leaf uh, basically the door the moving part of the door and then uh how the top or down uh this middle part uh, how many different panels do you have uh, let me show you the panel so you can have a kind of a let's say it for the entrance if this is if this is it and then uh, how spaced out they are how big they are maybe i want to have a door like this for the entrance uh, i mean it looks okay you have also we have all other fancy options as well so if you want to bevel it or you want to have this Another extra, like very traditional doors that are timber base bevel edges inside. Uh, I'm, I'm keeping it simple now for today. I will show you how to material this easily later on, so don't worry about that. Uh, let me copy this twice. Let me save this file because I had this crash before. Okay, now the second door again for the Entrance. Let's say the entrance. Uh, let's say the second door. I want to have the panels. It's for internal. It's for room. So there is no need actually to have this. Even if you want to have it uh, as simple as possible, you can increase this until it goes away and just have a very simple door. Uh, this one. Let's change, let me change the width for the rooms. Let's say 90. For the toilets, for the rooms, even 250 is too much. Usually, depends if you're in Netherlands, maybe you keep it 250. Where I am, 230 is more than enough. Uh, all right, so this door will be the height again for the 230 for the wet course, 150, let's say 80 for the toilets, but then we have to go uh, down and change this as well. Zero one one. Mm. Uh, this is good for the toilets. Okay, now I want to have some sliding doors here as well. So uh, this the sliding door. This is a bifold door. Let's see. Let's open the bifold door so you can see what happens. So bifold door is usually used for this. Uh, maybe some entrances. Maybe some closets. Maybe. Uh, Let me increase the number of no, not number of these panels. Number of number of folds. I don't know if did we were we able to change the number of folds. I'm not hundred percent sure about this. It seems that it was not. I'm not. I think it was. Uh, anyway, I'll find out. All right. So let's say I want to have this for the openings. Again, I'll go here. Uh, imagine they're looking toward outside. And I want to have something that can be easily open, so I go here uh, to the height uh, 230. Let's have it together with the door uh, actually, not this one. So 250 with 25, no, not, not 25, 200 mm, with 40, maybe 25 is even more than enough. Alright, so now I have some of these doors. Let me try to fix them inside. This is the same for doors and windows. You want to make sure that you place them properly. Uh, this door is a little bit tilted, so you can always come down here, press E for rotation, and fix this. Make it straight again. Uh, you can use sliding door here as well. So let's say I have one here. Keep shift down. And copy another one here. For today, next week I will bring something directly from uh, AutoCAD, and we will have a precise drawing. So for now, uh, let it let let it stay like that. Now you can see it's not actually open. We have to link this together in order to open the door. This is where uh, I have most difficulty explaining to, to the students, and they they don't get it even toward the end. So you have to unselect everything. It's a little bit tricky, and I don't know how it works. Sometimes you have to play with it until it works. Sometimes it doesn't work. It's not 100% sure. This is the best way I found. 
So you unclick everything, you unselect everything. You click on this item, select a link on the top. Okay, this is the way to do it. Select, select and link. When you click on select and link, you come and wait for the door to get outlined with yellow. You click and drag and wait for the wall to get outlined. And now it opens. And you unselect everything else. With link selected, you come, pick the door, drag it, wait for the wall to get outlined. And now the door is open easily. Worst case scenario, if it doesn't, if it didn't work, how you will, uh, you will use boolean or you will use uh, editable poly to, to to open the door. Anyway, let me let me change the color of this like too much red. I like that natural uh, tone that already we have. There. Okay, for the entrance again. I mean now let's say let me show you the beauty of this. Now you have these two and then you shift and drag it here because this is basically the same wall and it already opened. But I don't want this to open toward outside because that would be a disaster. Uh, I want them to open so I said uh, flip swing. Same for this flip swing. Let's say now we have a kind of a uh, living room that can be open toward both sides if necessary kind of very spacious uh, living room all right so let me move this toward the main entrance this is what i want you to do for this week uh, so main entrance go here unclick everything click on the link wait for the wall and then it opens up if it doesn't, play with this, move it a little bit, shift it a little bit. It, it always does for me, it doesn't for my students, I don't know why. Uh, now, maybe it happens today, finally. We don't have any bedrooms here for today, so I'm just going to add these two for the toilets. Of course, they will open to our inside. Let's open it first, so... Uh, now let's move it so we'll have something to practice with actually. Okay. Now, link, click, drag, unselect, link, click, drag, unselect. So we have these two doors now, perfectly good. They will have some windows as well, so you can go ahead and uh, let me let me add a door here. Swing. Uh, uh, let me add another door here, so a sliding door, because this is interesting. Mm -hmm. So I just drag. Okay. Now let's uh, have the zero. I want it to swing the other way around. I don't know. Let's see if it's possible. I think I, I'm not sure if it was this door or we could do it with the window, basically. Uh, Anyway, maybe a sliding door. I had something in mind, but uh, maybe actually bifold is a better door for the garage than it is. Anyway, so you have the sliding door. Sliding door you can also use for the for those kind of uh, purposes. So let me let me put this here. I want the car to be able to pass here. So this one will be uh, three hundred. Let me go here, unclick, drag. I'm not doing fancy design here, I'm just trying to do something. Okay, now I'll do a window and you will go and try all other types of window by yourself. So there are many different types of window. You have a wing, you have the casement, you have fixed, pivoted, projected and sliding. Uh, like you, the names are pretty self-explanatory. So like a wing window, if you open it and modify. And you will see how uh, how it works how how it works so like open here so a wing window open uh, toward the hinge and this is what I wanted to do for the for the balcony for the garage door so I, let me actually do it now that we have because we can modify a window to look like a door as well there's no problem about that uh, so let me fix this a zero but now we had the big hole there doesn't matter. Uh, it should go away as uh, when I delete the object. So height, 
250 width 300 and then um, maybe we will make it a little bit thicker this part especially okay because usually they have this kind of uh, they have this kind of uh, the depth let's go for 25 you can go ahead and open your uh, snap to vertexes vertices and just snap it right in the place I don't have time in the tutorial to go that but you know how to do it basically so let me say okay this is uh, not this one uh, let's open it a little bit more okay now all right so this works uh, now let's go and do the windows so i'll go again under create geometries windows so a uh, wing window not suitable for my purpose now might be let's let's put one for the toilets uh and for the let's say the small storage so a wing window Oh, sorry about that. Let me rotate and find it. So, a wing window, drag for the thickness, for the height. Because last time we draw it, it was wide open. It still is wide open. So, go to modify. This is a pretty small window. So, we'll have 50 by 50 by 25. And then we have to go and make it really uh, for the For the framing, we have to go and try to make it as thin as possible. Okay. So you go ahead and play with this until until you find something that suits the uh, suit your purpose. You can really go in and start to adjust these settings so I'll put one here make sure that it's uh, you can well, while drawing you can always uh, turn your old snap or your uh, the other snaps on just to make sure that it's correct but I'm just trying for today to show that it's not really even that important if it's if it's if it aligns so let me with uh, go ahead keep control select both uh, and just push it up maybe for this we will face some problem let me see now opens up perfectly unselect select the object drag wait for the wall to get yellowed uh, outline and drag and now we have these two windows also open let me add one for the I want you to to have at least three types of uh, windows in your project so use three different types of windows I'm going to use a sliding now so let's say here here and here and uh, here I go to modify first let me fix the rotation I want it to be exactly 45 because this wall is 45 and then everything else is okay you can increase the number of panels of course here uh, well, let me show you what happens when you open it first yes so it opens like this but this is a bin uh, this is a kitchen I don't want it to open like this It's a hung so I want it to be the other way around so now it's like this but now I don't want that panel actually there this is quite okay let me make sure that the dimension is okay so this will sit above the cabinets so I don't want it to be that high the room is 300 so this will be probably 120 and the width of it will be uh, again uh, maybe again 120 let's have square and 25 and I will raise it because it's it will be about the cabinet so the cabinet usually is a hundred so I will raise this up for a meter uh, probably uh, let's test let's check there and let's put this here let's have one here Okay. 
It's not 45 now. You can always turn this snap on, on the angle snap, and just while rotating it, uh, you can see it will have it will do it with five degrees increment, so you don't have to go down and tight. Let me put this one here, or you could just copy this one directly there with local setting. Let me show you local setting actually. So if you have this one, it's in global move. Uh, I think we didn't talk. I think we, I talked about it. So it's in global uh, move, but you can always go here and just uh, play. Just you can click local, and when you click, when you click local, you see now it's, it it follows the object's axis. So I keep the shift down. I drag it over here, and you don't even have to go around and start rotating it. Uh, so local is also something very useful to know. Let me put it again on the board. Now, link, wait for the object, click, drag to the wall. Unselect, wait for the object, you don't have to click, it will automatically yellow the outside. Click, drag, wait for the wall, and it will link. The last one, fingers crossed, click, drag, didn't open, click, Right, no opens. Okay, now, now I think it's all right, pretty all right. I'll show you how to material this later on. So we have a very simple uh, building. We have very simple, uh, like let's say, construction. And now, uh, you don't. If you want to have, if you want to add a roof, well, let me first do the staircase. So you do different types of windows. I want you to go ahead and check this window. So you have the projected window. And you have the pivoted window, which, and then you have the casement and fix. Fix, it, does, it doesn't open. So, uh, casement, I forgot how it was. Mm -hmm. Let me open it. Always have to open it to see what it does. Uh, it's a very regular opening window, yeah. It's very re regular, everyday door type window. Uh, I mean, I mean, as far as we're at it, let's just do this later. All right, so staircase also a little bit tricky. So the staircase you want to do, you have it under stairs. You have different types of stairs. Staircase is a little bit tricky. So I start with the straight staircase. So you drag for the width of the stair uh, for the total run. I'm sorry, you drag for the total run, and then you drag for the width, and then you drag for the height. So let me do it again. You drag for the total run of the stair. You drag for the width of the stair, and then you drag for the height. This is a straight stair, and you can always come here, because I see people having difficulty with stairs. Even if it looks absolutely rubbish, you can come here. And start changing these settings and you can fix it. So now let me show you the settings for the stairs. You have open stairs, just like this one, which has a carriage in the middle. You have a close, just like a concrete construction, and you have a box. Uh, also sometimes happens like this. So let me have it open with more settings. You can have stringers. Uh, these are the two elements around usually in timber construction. Uh, you can have handrails. These are pretty elementary handrails. You'll have to adjust them later on with Edit Poly to uh, create something uh, actually uh, reasonable. Then uh, you have the, the, the you have the adjustment of the stairs. So the overall height is here, for example, 300. But these stairs cannot handle 300 because this is not actually. Uh, that. So you have to do a little bit of calculation. If you've ever done some construction, you will know like how to calculate those uh, stairs. So you cannot you cannot change all three of these at the same time. You should know at least two, and the program will decide about the other. Because you cannot have your cake and eat it too here. You cannot have a 300 uh, centimeter overall height with uh, 25 centimeters uh, razor high, and then something which doesn't match. It doesn't. We have to match. 
So let's say my stairs are 30 centimeter, and you see with 30 centimeter height, which is very unreasonable, it would be 12 stairs if it reached 300. So I have 300 here. Let's say 330 because there will be a slab here on top of this. 330, 27, too much. I want to go for 17. But then you see, because now the razor is uh, is locked, when I change this, it changes the height. So I have to go and put this back on, 330. And then I have to lock this. I say, okay, now I want this to be 17 centimeters. How many do I need? 19. It will try to make you to make the best estimate. All right. Uh, but I mean, this is a very straightforward staircase. It doesn't even have a. It doesn't even have a landing yet. Uh, and then the carriage in the middle, you can make it like come all the way down, or stay like this. The width of it. You can even go here and make it like maybe two or three carriages. It's up to you. Depends on what kind of uh, design you're doing. You have the railing again. Uh, uh, how many different segments do you want for the railing? Uh, and the stringers, of course, we don't have any string. I didn't. I turned it off. So uh, uh, you can you can play with this. And then the, the, the straight staircase doesn't give you that much, uh, that many more options. So I'll move on to the next one actually. So let's go here L shaped staircase. This is more like it. I mean, straight, straight uh, staircase, you, don't, you can't even add a landing in the middle, it just straight goes up. So let's go for this one. I'm again doing, uh, you go for the total, let's say, uh, run. Let's say first run, second run, and then height. All right, so sometimes I even forget this. So first run, second run, and height. Okay, now it looks weird, but I can easily fix this. So I go to modify, uh, and then I start to play. First, first thing you want to check, like for your first uh, uh, length, let's say 200. My second 200 with 90 let's say 100 angle this is interesting uh, you can now you can have a straight staircase with landing if you put this zero okay so if you want to have a landing you have to come to L type stairs and just space in this to zero and then you can have your landing also adjusted accordingly all right so this is this is pretty straightforward what you can do here and you can you can have like some flexibility here same with the previous one, uh, so I want my total height to be, I come here to the raise, I unlock this, let's first, I, I, I like this one, 300, now, I like the overall, and I say I want my steps to be uh, maybe 18 centimeters in height, okay, now, this okay the hand you can increase the thickness of those steps like how much they go under each other uh, it gives you some design element of course you can always start to change this so this is the second type the third type which will be will be putting here which is like three meters a little bit less so we have 10 from here 10 from here so 280 so a u-shaped staircase so let's see i'm drawing once for something, yeah, for the entire uh, length of the staircase box, let's say, and then for the width of it, and then for the height of it, and then you never get it straight out of the box properly, you have to always come and modify these things. So let's go and try to modify this. Let's say, for example, here we have a, I don't know, open, open looks better always, like for example, in this villa type, if it was something else, we would have closed it, let's say something like that anyway uh, handrail at least let's have some handrail on both sides and then let's have some rail pads okay that's all right rail pads are the sp line let me let me remove this the rail pads are the sp line that you can later use to snap maybe uh, some uh, other balustrade around and you can use them to create your own kind of railing imagine if you want to put a piece of glass between these two 
uh, you will just uh, you will just uh, copy these and uh, fill in the space between them. I will show you how uh, later on, of course. Uh, anyway, for now it's okay. Let's uh, say length one. How much space do we have there? Quickly, let's check. Uh, we have four meters. So let length one is four hundred. Length two, we measure twenty to eighty. Oh no, this is also four hundred. The width will be hundred and twenty. The landing is also similar to that. Let me go to the top and check if it's actually following my logic. Uh, so let's say three fifty, three fifty. 340, 340, the width 120 is perfectly fine, uh, offset, now we have to play with this until we get the 280 that we wanted, I mean it looks okay, uh, let me go to rotation, fix this, to 0, bring this here, put it here, then I will play with this until I get it absolutely right. So it's a little bit tricky for working with this uh, with these uh, stereotypes. You might be able to find something even better, uh, ready-made object of of sorts. Uh, so this is alright. Now I'll go fix the number of the stairs. So I I fix the razor. The height will be three thirty. Uh, I'll fix the overall. Uh, let me fix the number of this. Okay, 300. Then I fix this and go. Okay, number of 13. I know that I need probably 18 or 19 steps to get up there. 19, 20. This is all right. Let me go and decrease this a little bit. So. 320, 320, and bring this up here, okay, now it looks okay, now what you want to do, we have all the staircase, let me show you the other ones as well, so you have the spiral staircase always, uh, you draw for the diameter, and you draw for the height, and you have all the same options here. You can have it box, you can have it uh, full, just like a minaret. You can have stringers again. You can remove the carriage or have the carriage, depends on your design. You can have a center pole uh, that goes around it. So, and you can have the adjustment for all these uh, settings. I mean, depends on depends how what kind of design you have. So this is spiral. Again, I'll go here. Let's save this file. Now what I want to do, I want to actually uh, create a slab here, which might be a little bit tricky to do. Uh, so feel free and try to find a way to create slab here. The way to create slab is by, again, going and using those uh, things that I talked about, the shapes. So I, I, again, draw a line, corner, corner. I go to snaps. I make my uh, vertices on, snaps off. Make sure the snap is on and make sure it's on 2.5. I told you the difference between three because I don't want it to snap to different three dimensional objects here. I want them to all to stay in the same uh, line. So I click here and then I go around. I don't want to have a slap here in the middle. That's the point actually. So I go here because this will be, uh, this will be the staircase part and the staircase part uh, never. So I keep shift down just somehow to get it up right here and then here and then this is not any this is not really that precise so if you want to do this kind of stuff uh, very precisely this is for more kind of a quick uh, draft 
of a slab so you can go and do it perfectly much much better in Revit if you want all right so we have this line now I go to the side W and I bring the line up of course I turn my snap off I bring the line up and then you go to modify you can extrude anything if the line is closed uh, even it's open so I extrude this amount 30 so I go and I, I select the extrude command from there so now I have this lab now imagine if there is another floor going on here uh, like let's say if I if I select all these uh, all these elements and I want to have another floor going up here uh, I can easily do it maybe I was a little bit off with the staircase uh, let's see if what's happening here 300 oh, I, I said 320 but 330 but I forgot them yes the last step will be the wall actually okay now it's fine that will be this lap so now uh, let's say I mean I didn't you can't do the bedrooms upstairs I didn't do the bedrooms now press the alt down let's deselect this uh, and just for the case of showing this off let me bring this up or uh, let's even uh, turn our 2d snap on and then Let me let me bring this up. I don't think it will work here. It doesn't give me that. If we group it, I'll get to the grouping later. Um, maybe not this one. Mm -hmm. So we change this door. That's why it disappeared when we try to do something else okay now this is there don't worry about this uh, uh, deformities it will go away we do not have a door here but then this should fill in it will automatically do my graphic card is really old that's why it doesn't do so usually in a building like that uh, you will have another uh, set of uh, walls here basically so if I go here uh, into the architectural extended wall let's go 200 uh, left I'm not sure snap 3d snap let me see if I can actually do this uh, no Doesn't select, it doesn't snap to a selected object, I suppose. Why it doesn't get this snap up? Anyway, so I'll have another. Uh, I, I have some. I have the, uh, another wall here for the staircase that goes up. Mm, vertices. Maybe I have to add the edit poly on top of this. Yeah, I think that's the case. So let's have another edit poly on top of this edit poly. Now, it will probably okay. Let's say you can, like for example, I want now to work with this, but it's very difficult. So I can click on this and say uh, unhide uh, or hide unselected. Let's say. So now I want to work with this only. Now I go again here wall. I have absolutely no idea why it, uh, it snaps. Now it snaps. Okay. All right, so maybe maybe the wall doesn't doesn't want to snap anyway. A good thing that we draw it with the snap to grid on. Anyway, this is this is a bit difficult because we didn't bring anything from AutoCAD and we are just trying to design something here, which is not always the ideal scenario for this kind of jobs. Uh, 
All right. And now let's have a simple good old fashioned box here. Just to cover up this top part. And then I go here again, right click in the middle of the scene and say uh, unhide all. Okay, now we have something very basic, very simple. And then you add a slab for this one as well for the garage as well. Uh, maybe maybe for this first floor we need to add some uh, railing here or we need to go and just uh, make this a little bit uh, the height we make it maybe uh, 150 and then we will raise it up something the the, the hole will, will move with this don't worry about that uh, so even this one we can just go ahead and uh, copy that one or we can uh, leave it where it is, or we can just go well, go ahead and start to uh, edit individual ones. And you see the whole gets updated as soon as we move this. All right, so this is uh, this is it uh, for today. I want you to try all these elements, and I want you to try to uh, make something really simple. It's not any as as long as you try all of this, and you send me the file, I'll appreciate it. Uh, thank you very much. And I'll see you next week. We'll be building actually a very uh, nice apartment.